Hi there, I'm Tyler with Timefire VR. This video will go over how to make procedural patterns in Substance Painter by layering polygons into masks. I'm using a mesh I've already made a few textures for, but I'll walk through creating a new pattern from scratch. First thing you'll want to do is lay down a fill layer. Then add a black mask to it and a fill layer to the mask. And that's a fill layer, not a paint layer. Paint will not give you the input we're looking for. After this, go into the procedural tab and scroll to the bottom until you find the polygon 1 image. Drag this image onto the fill layer grayscale. This essentially loads that image directly onto the mask. From here, we can start getting into settings. Some of these settings are universal, like the fill section, which handles how the UVs control the layer. These can be used in combination with the polygon settings below for interesting results. The next set of options are histogram controls, which only affect values between 0 and 1. Basically, if the shape is solid, it won't have much effect, but I'll demonstrate its purpose in a moment. Now to pattern settings. This is where most of the magic happens. The settings are applied individually to each triangle that makes up the procedural polygon while maintaining a constant offset. That's not really something I'm thinking about actively in my head while making a pattern, but it's helpful to understand the limitations and the possibilities that creates. Each option has a pretty strong and easily understandable effect once you get to playing with them. I find I come out with a better result when I think less about what I'm trying to make and just having fun creating layers of different settings. The gradient option has no adjustable settings directly in the pattern section, but if you use the histogram settings, you can adjust the level of the gradient and the contrast. The bottom of my screen doesn't record well, unfortunately, but the only options you're missing is tiling and blur. The tiling option is great because it doesn't affect the UV tile and only uses whole numbers. So after going through those settings, I'm going to start layering duplicates of that original pattern layer. The layer is fill, so I just have to change the base color and any material settings I want to adjust the look. I like a lot of weird colors mashed together, but a better option is going to a color swatches website like Adobe Color to get some solid, cool inspiration. Something I go back and adjust for all the layers is the UV scale. I set it to a whole number so things are less random, which is really just an aesthetic choice. I then start controlling the tiling with the tiling option in the pattern tab instead. This essentially lines things up to have more of a mathematical and precise look.
So that's generally the workflow I use to make patterns in Painter. Designer is obviously a little more powerful for this scenario, but the additional time it takes to work in both at the same time isn't always worth it, making this a great alternative. Here's all the patterns I've created and imported into Unreal 4 using Substance Painter 2. And please let us know what you thought in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe for more useful videos like this from the Timefire VR team.